Hi, welcome to the Cheers Zoom reading. I am Ken Levine, and uh, Jason Benetti and I have put together a reading of a Cheers script that I wrote with my partner, David Isaacs. This was from 1988, called The Big Kiss Off. And let me introduce the cast, who will be doing the parts of uh, the Cheers regulars that you know and love. Um, Steve Fiziok from the Kansas City Royals will be doing the stage direction. Beth Moens from ESPN and CBS Sports will be doing Caroline. Alana Rizzo from the Los Angeles Dodgers will be Rebecca. Mark Grant from the San Diego Padres will be Woody. Chip Carey from the Atlanta Braves will be Sam. Susan Waldman from the New York Yankees will be Carla. Dan Horde from the Cincinnati Bengals will be guest star Larry. Dave Fleming from the San Francisco Giants will be Cliff. George Wendt, who does not announce Major League Baseball, but we couldn't find another guy. Uh, yeah. He'll be playing Norm. <laughs> and Jason Benetti from the Chicago White Sox, well, he'll be playing. Uh, the part of Frazier, and I will be man who said Sinatra. <laughs> and that is our cast. And now the big kiss off. Steve? Teaser. Fade in. Norm is in his usual spot. Frazier enters looking like hell and eases himself onto a stool, racked with severe hangover pain. Hey, Frazier, you got home okay last night? Yes, thank you for putting me in that cab. Mm. I now know what my official limit is. Three less than I had. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd had a little too much to drink when you started talking about that longshoreman's mother. Sweet Lord, I don't remember a thing. What did I say? As I recall, uh, unions are for mommy's boys who can't get their own jobs. My God, I said that? Why didn't he kill me? Because you said you wanted to wait and take him on when there were more people around. So you were a, an Ivy League boxer, huh? I said that? Yeah, and then you, you promised to meet him back here today, right about uh, now. Frazier jumps and hurriedly heads for the door. But he couldn't make it. Frazier re-enters, relieved. So he's sending over a big thug who said he had it in for doctors anyway. Frazier reels around and rushes out again. But he had to leave. Frazier looks immensely relieved as he staggers back in. Oh, no, no, wait, there he is again. <laughs> Frazier shoots back toward the door. Oh, that, that's a car. Frazier re-re-enters, wasted. Norm, why are you taunting me like a silly plaything? It's my special hangover cure. Well, it didn't help me a whit. No, but I think mine's gone. Frazier collapses on the bar. Dissolve two. Act one, fade in. Everyone present, Larry, a postman, enters the bar with the morning mail. How you doing, Sack Happy? Hey there, rubber thumbs. God, why do postmen have to talk in that stupid language? Well, it's only fair that pigs have Latin. Thought you'd be on a dim route by now. Don't see you pushing many number one sacks, Clavin. There's flap you had a brush with utility. 604's all the way. You know, the scheme, Fed. What the heck are they talking about? It's kind of a postal wrap. Here's your mail. I heard a good one. How many UPS men does it take to fill out a DCR 40? Seven. Damn, you've heard it. The two laugh. As Larry <laughs> is about to depart, he and Cliff high five. Good bulk, man. No go backs. Larry exits. I once thought about asking Cliff what it all meant, but then it occurred to me he might tell me. Woody enters from the back room. Woody, is that a new shirt? You mean the one I'm wearing? Yes, you look very nice today, very cute. 
and ah. he turns crimson. Really? I mean, you mean you mean it? Me? You really think me? I mean, you think I look cute? Well, I did. Rebecca exits into her office. Hey, say, Woody, taking charm lessons from Clavin there? Hey, 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 leave him alone. Thanks, Sammy. I met Woody. Hey, little fella, are you a little sweet on, on uh, Rebecca? Nah, get out. I don't know. You have that kind of dopey look. And? Come on, you can tell us. Well, okay. Over the last couple of months, I've had kind of noticed her. In fact, if it weren't for Miss Howe having a thing for Mr. Drake, I really might think I'd go after her. <laughs> hey. No, right. Right, right. Hey, yeah. hey wh what's so funny? Uh, no disrespect, Romeoski, but I don't think her idea of a hot date is a butter churning contest in Cat's Breath Holler. <laughs> hey, wait, you guys are forgetting something. Miss Howe said I was cute. Yeah, well, Woody, I, I think she thinks you're cute the same way she thinks a puppy dog is cute. Yeah, I, I know. Hey, was that is that a cut? <laughs> what? 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 You, you don't think she could go for me? I just may have to show you guys. You couldn't get to first base. First base, nothing. I'll bet you I can get a home run. <laughs> oh, Please. Yeah. Please. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Woody, son, Woody, you can't get a home run. Can't so. In fact, by midnight tonight, I can get a kiss. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a kiss? A kiss? That's what you mean by a home run? Yeah, sure. What else could it be? A home run? I thought you meant go all the way. You mean marry her? Sam, where is your mind? I bet on Woody. Ten bucks says he can get that kiss. Uh, come on, Nami. Woody there's got about as much chance of getting a smooch out of Rebecca as Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, wait a minute. Sure, Woody can't do it, but you guys think I can't come through? Rumor has it, Sam, that the woman finds you utterly repulsive. Rumor heck. It's in the newsletter. Would you guys give me a break? You're talking to Sammy here. I'm the king. Yeah, when was the last time Rebecca said you were cute? Face it, Sam, the kid's a natural. Maybe it's time for you to hang up your lips. Hey, 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 I've still got it. And if you want proof, fine. I'll get that kiss from her before Woody. Oh, yeah? Well, Sammy, there's an expression that we used to have back in Indiana. Same to you. I just wish it applied. The bar yeah, patrons know what to I got five on Woody. I'm, I'm in. Ten you bucks on Woody. Me too. Money comes yeah, out. Yeah, I'll take 20 on the kid. You're betting 20 on Woody? You're right. Make it 50. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You guys are putting me on. Oh, look at that face, Sam. That sweet, innocent face. The kind of face we all hate and resent, <laughs> but we will cash in on it. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to teach you doubters a lesson. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got to set the ground rules here. A kiss before midnight tonight. It must be a full one on the lips. All four lips completely touching for an entire three count. Tongue optional. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and, 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 and there's got to be a bona fide witness. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be better than our contest for the biggest saliva bubble. Please don't get our hopes up. <laughs> now, if the winner gets a kiss from Rebecca, what does the loser get? A kiss from Nam? Then there is no loser. <laughs> As the others react, we dissolve too. Later, everyone present but Woody. Rebecca is sitting in Norm's usual spot at the bar, working on some figures. Sam comes out of the back room and passes Carla, who is circulating with a tray of drinks. Got any ideas yet? What are you worried about? I've got all day. Besides, I've got this sewed up. I don't know. A lot of women come into the bar and say they want to meet that sexy bartender, and more and more of them are not talking about you, Sammy. Face it, Woody's young, he's a comer. Hey, Carla, you're not losing faith in me, are you? 
You still think I've got it, don't you? Sure, I do, but you can't take this for granted. When you get a little older, you have to work a little harder or date uglier. Well, I guess when you think about it, Woody is kind of cute, isn't he? Well, he could use a tattoo and maybe a scar, but uh, yeah, he won't break a mirror. Of concern, Sam thinks for a beat, then... This is not good. This is not good for the image at all. If I let Woody get away with it, every young punk with a pair of lips will be in here challenging me. Okay, I've got a way to go here. Carla hands her tray to a passing customer. Uh, these go to table six and you owe them some change. Sam crosses to Rebecca at the bar. Carla follows, discreetly hanging back a few steps. Inventory reports? That's right. Sam begins munching on a cherry. Well, the weather's getting warmer. We probably should order some more rum. <coughs> In mid-sentence, he gags on the cherry and drops at Rebecca's feet. Sam, Sam, oh my God, are you all right? Reacting quickly, she shakes him. A crowd begins to form around Sam. Oh, <coughs> not, not that. Mouth to, to mouth. Are you sure? Mouth to mouth. Well, all right. Rebecca kneels down and leans over him. Does anybody know mouth to mouth? I do. Sam, wait, 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 wait. I'm okay. I'm over it. <laughs> Works every time. Sam makes his way to his feet. The crowd disperses. Carla approaches Sam. Low, Sammy. Really low. Not worthy of the king entering Nick Tortelli country. Yeah, but Nick does okay with the women, doesn't he? Nick is a pathetic, lonely, unattractive old man. Yeah, but he does okay with the women. King Woody does have a ring to it, doesn't it? Say it, Sam. See what you think. King Woody. Woody enters. He is somewhat down and distracted. Carla gets down on one knee and bows to him. Your Majesty. Carla gets up and moves off. Woody comes down to the bar. Afternoon, Woody. Oh, yeah. Hi. Are you okay? Me? Yeah, sure. I I'm great. Besides, you wouldn't want to know anyway. Of course I would. Really? Very much. You sure? Yes. Honestly? Woody, when's the last time anyone actually struck you? Well, see, I'm trying out for this part in a play. It's a real important part, and it's a real well-known play. Bus station. You mean bus stop? Oh, I'll never get it. Sam and Carla are at the other end of the bar. <laughs> this is so great. He's so worried about his dumb play, he probably doesn't even remember the bet. Well, at least his memory loss isn't from senility. Well, Carla, I'm just so glad you're on my side. See, the thing is, my audition is tomorrow. I don't have a chance to work with any other actors to, you know, prepare for my part. Actors have to do that, you know. Say, Miss Howe, you think maybe you could read with me? I don't think so, Woody. I'm very busy right now. Oh, sure. I understand. I'll just lose the part. Oh, all right. If you promise, it'll be quick. Thanks, Miss Howe. I hope you don't mind. It's a love scene. They exit into her office. A love scene. He's gotten so wrapped up in his acting, he's forgotten all about the kiss. This contest is getting easier by the minute. Carla whacks the brass rail with her tray, causing Sam to punch himself. He looks over at the office, then back at Carla, then back at the office again, finally realizing. Uh-oh. Fade out. End of act one. Act two, fade in. Rebecca's office. Moments later, Woody and Rebecca enter. I'm expecting a distributor in five minutes. No problem. Oh, wait a minute. Woody opens the door and whistles. Carla enters. Carla? It really helps for me to have an audience. Sell it. Make me believe it. Carla makes herself comfortable behind Rebecca's desk. All right, Woody, so what are we doing? Well, the scene is between the wayward young rodeo buck, Bo, that'd be me, and the sexy showgirl, Cherry. Uh, that's you, I guess. He hands Rebecca a side. You, you got any popcorn in here? Maybe jujubes? No, Carla, I'm sorry. Now, where do we start? 
How about on page 14, uh, just before it says they kiss? He looks over at Carla and raises his eyebrows. Oh, oh golly. When you kiss someone for serious, it's kind of scary, ain't it? Yes, it is. Now, now I'm supposed to kiss you. He leans in to kiss her. Carla poises. Just at that moment, Sam bursts in. Sorry, I, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? What is it, Sam? We're out of vermouth. So order more. Is that OK? Yes, if we're out of it. We are. Then order more. Vermouth. Yes, Sam, could you excuse us? Sam slinks out the door. Oh, let's see. Where were we? Oh, right. Oh, oh, golly. When you <laughs> kiss someone for serious, it's kind of scary, ain't it? Yeah, it is. He it leans is. in to kiss Rebecca. Carla poises. Just at that moment, Sam bursts in again. I I'm sorry. I, I really wouldn't do this unless it was really important. Yes. I ordered the vermouth. Sam, get out of here. We're in the middle of a play. Really? A play? I love good dramatic stuff. Is this by Tennessee Ernie Ford? Come on, Sam. Play fair. That's Sam exits. Uh, that's my opinion of the play so far, but fair. But with enough rehearsal, enough rehearsal, it might play great. Okay, let's pick it up. Golly, when you kiss someone for serious, it's kind of scary, ain't it? Yeah, it is. He leans in, about to kiss her, then stops. Wait a minute. I ordered two cases of vermouth yesterday. Sam's crazy. He exits. Rebecca shrugs. Carla hangs her head. Dissolve too. A short while later, the gang is there. Better make your move, Sammy. Time's getting short. Norm, I'm not worried. In fact, this is how I like it. Late innings, game on the line. It's time for the cool customers to step in center stage. You're really sweating there, Sammy. No, I'm not. A sweat is nothing to be ashamed of. I myself have perspired once or twice. We could grow rice. <laughs> Rebecca enters from the pool room. As she approaches the bar, Sam spots an incredible looking girl, Caroline sitting at the opposite end of the bar. Excuse me. He walks right past her and heads for Caroline. Hey, Caroline, how are you? I can't help but noticing you look a, a little depressed. Oh, it's the same old thing. I'm so in love with my boss and I just can't get him to notice me. Well, gee, Caroline, have you ever tried kissing him like this? Sam leans in and gives her a kiss full on the mouth. Caroline melts. Oh my God, that was, that was, oh, thank heaven you showed me. There's no way anyone could have described it. If I kiss him like that, he's bound to fall in love with me. Bye, Sam. Bye, Bye Caroline. You two kids have a wonderful honeymoon. Sam escorts her to the door. Thanks, Caroline. I really appreciate it. Anything to get my disc player back. Caroline exits. Sam crosses back to Rebecca at the bar. So, Rebecca, how are things going with you and your boss? Any way I can help you? <laughs> <laughs> These lips give you any idea. <laughs> I think the liver in my freezer has gone bad. Thanks, Sam. Walks away. What happened? She couldn't possibly have seen through your little morality <laughs> play. Yeah, it couldn't have been great. Oh, no. Rebecca grabs Carla, leading her into the hall. What's going on here? Whatever you do to me. Sam and Woody are desperately trying to kiss me. Hey, someone's a little full of herself, isn't she? Come on, Carla, what's the story, woman to woman? Now, why would I tell you anything about my two closest best friends in the whole world? Because I'll give you a paid day off. Oh, okay, they got a bet. They want to see who can kiss you by the end of tonight's shift. Why would they do such an asinine juvenile thing? Well, look at the contestants. 
Actually, Woody is doing it because they were razzing him. Sam's desperately trying to prove he's still got it. Other than that, it's just cheap thrills. Rebecca smiles. Well, don't tell them I know. Why shouldn't I? I'm thinking of teaching them a little lesson, something fun. Define fun. Something that will cause them both total disgrace and humiliation. Eh. It'll give you something to ridicule them about for the rest of their lives. Deal. Dissolve two. Later that evening, everyone is present but Sam. Woody comes down from Melville's. Mr. Clavin, they delivered a letter of yours upstairs by mistake. I'm sorry you all had to see that. I urge you not to let this affect your opinion of the U.S. Postal Service. It won't change an iota. Cliff, why do you have mail sent to Cheers anyway? Yeah, it's only when I write Washington. See, the government gets a lot of crank letters. You get thrown in the fruit ball file, and the next thing you know, there's G-men camping on your doorstep. They're not going to associate me with those paranoids. Who's this one from? Uh, NASA. Uh, well, the heck with them. The heck with them all. What is it, Cliff? They won't let you go on the expedition to Mars? No, Jupiter. Family reunion? <laughs> I was willing to go through the training, even give up my seniority with the post office, but that apparently is not good enough for Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Laugh at a man's greatest dream. Ever since they sent that first monkey into space, it's what I wanted to do with my life. Well, you're halfway there. I've seen you eat with your feet. Carla moves off. Well, can you do it? No response. That ought to shut her up. <laughs> Angle on Woody as Rebecca crosses by. Miss Howe, can I ask you a question? What do you want to know, Woody? Woody takes out his set of keys and dangles them in front of her. Which keys unlock the storeroom? I can't tell. Hold them steady. Look carefully. Very carefully. Woody looks over at Frazier and winks. Frazier just shakes his head. <laughs> sleepy. Very sleepy. Woody. Very, very sleepy. You'll do whatever I say. Go to sleep, Woody. Woody falls asleep. Rebecca shakes her head and moves on. Frazier snaps his fingers. Woody wakes up and sees that Rebecca is gone. Oh no, I've made her disappear. Woody moves on. To recap, sitting in the tavern today, we have a man who's disappointed because he can't go to Jupiter, and another who's actually simple enough to hypnotize himself. I'd like to suggest that we've seen it all. Sam enters, wearing a dress green army uniform. Ten, hut! Happily, I stand corrected. <laughs> well, the time has come for me to be all that I can be. You enlisted in the army, you idiot? We do more by 9 a.m. than most people do all day. And that's a selling point to you? Look, I've had a belly full of that Ayatollah guy, and I don't like what's been happening in the Persian Gulf, so now I'm off to Persia. I just wanted to stop off, shake a couple of hands, say a few goodbyes, and kiss a few girls for one last time. Sam approaches Rebecca with arms outstretched. This is goodbye, baby. This could be the last time you ever see this dog face. You can always take a gander at this one. Sam, I had no idea you were so dedicated. This is a wonderful thing you're doing for your country. Kiss me, Sam. Kiss me. Everyone in the bar leans forward. Carla has her hand up, ready to count. Sam leans in. Then Rebecca pulls away. No, I cannot kiss another soldier. Not after Kevin. Kevin? Who's Kevin? My first boyfriend in high school. We were so much in love. And then he joined the army. He never wrote. I never saw him again. Well, I'll just ask for him when I get there. I'm sorry, Sam. Goodbye and good luck. Rebecca exits to the pool room. Damn, what does it take? Well, maybe you're being too subtle. <laughs> One hour. I don't think either of your heartthrobs got the lips to win. 
Well, it serves you right if you lose, Sam, doing all those weird things. Me? Me? What about you? What about that actor routine? You know, I'm getting a little tired of you, Woody, and this wholesome farm boy bit you play. You're not so dumb. I resent that. <laughs> At least I'm honest about coming on to women. Oh, you just don't like it when you're not king of the hill. Well, that's too bad. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm thinking about not writing you when you're overseas. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca enters from the pool room. Sam, can I see you for a moment? She ushers Sam into the hallway where they can be alone. Sam, I know what's going on here. I have no idea what you're talking. No, no. You've been very clever, but I figured it out. Boy, nothing gets by you. Anyway, I just wanted you to know I want you to win. All right, and they said I was losing it. Well, let's get on with the dirty deed. No, oh, no, we must arrange it so the kiss is natural, or then they'll think it's all a setup. Kiss? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. We're supposed to sleep together. Sam, you're trying my patience. Okay, okay, a kiss. How do you want to do it? Okay, I've got a plan. You go home, get out of that thing, I'll tell everyone I'm really beat up and go into my office to take a nap. Just come in and wake me. I'll act as if I were having an erotic dream and give you this long, passionate kiss. Oh, I love it. Wait a minute. What about Carla? She has to witness it. I'll swear to it afterwards. Why would I lie? And then I'll spit and wash my mouth out to make it really look legit. <laughs> Good idea. Sam crosses into the bar. Rebecca grabs a passing Woody and leads him toward the pool room. Woody, can I speak to you for a minute? I know what you and Sam are up to, and I just want you to know, I want you to win. They exit to the pool room. Sam heads for the door. I'm going out for a while. I've got a feeling this will be over with pretty quick. The king is leaving the building. Sam exits. He sticks his head back in. The king has left the building. He exits again, then comes running back in and crosses to the bar. Whoops, the king forgot his car keys. Dissolve too. An hour later in the bar, the bar is deserted, but for Cliff. Sam enters. Hey Cliff, where is everybody? Yeah, most have gone home. Carla's in the back room. Rebecca's asleep in her office, and I'm stuck here on earth. Rebecca's asleep? She said she was up late last night doing the book. She wanted someone to wake her right about now. I'd better go. No, 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 no. That's my job. Sam takes out a breath freshener spray, spritzes his mouth, and exits to the office. Cut two. Back to his office. The room is pitch black. Sam enters. From the light in the doorway, we can make out the shape of a body <laughs> sleeping on the couch. Sam leans over. We hear a long, loud kiss. Then, we see that it is Woody on the couch and that he and Sam have kissed. The gang emerges from the closet laughing and applauding. Uh, Woody and Sam both recoil. They let out loud collective yes uh, and wipe their mouths. Sammy and Woody sitting <laughs> in a tree. Oh, do you still respect him? You were supposed to be Miss Howe. Rebecca enters from the bar. That was a rotten thing to do. Don't talk to me about rotten. What about you two trying to trick me into kissing you? That's different. There was money involved. Well, I'm going to say this once, and I'm not going to say it again. I am a person who cannot be used. OK. All right. Now, if you will excuse me, I promised Mr. Drake I'd drive him to Hartford. Rebecca exits. Several others follow. Call me a romantic, but I always knew you two would end up together. Carla exits, cackling, cackling maniacally. Sam again wipes his mouth. I can't believe I kissed you. You're lucky I didn't belt you. Oh, yeah? You in what army? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, you were tricked. You're good friends. You, you mean a lot to each other. And you know you two shouldn't walk away mad. What do you say? Just kiss and make up. <laughs> Don't forget, you both owe me a big wet one. <laughs> I can't figure you out, Sam. You've always been like a brother to me. Yeah, well, Woody, if someone's going to knock off the king around here, I hope it's you. So no hard feelings? Of course not. No hard feelings, Woody. They shake hands. Now that everything's okay, Sammy, can I ask you something guy to guy? Sure, why not? How was I? Woody, Woody, come on. Well, it's something you can't ask a girl. Is there something maybe I need to work on? Woody, I, please, I don't want to talk about this with you. Come on, I was nervous, so I might have been a little dry. Oh, gross. <laughs> As they exit. <laughs> no, I'm serious, Sam. Do you want to know how you were? Cut the black. End of act two. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Once again, our reboot cheer players. Uh, from Major League Baseball and the NFL and CBS, uh, Steve Fiziak from the Royals, yeah. Beth Mullins from CBS and ESPN, Alana Rizzo from the Dodgers, Tip Carey from the Braves, Susan Waldman from the Yankees, Dan Horde from the Bengals, <laughs> Dave Fleming from the Giants, <laughs> George Went from After and Sag, <laughs> Nathan Benetti from the White Sox, and Mark Grant from the San Diego Padres. Thank you very much. Stay safe.